Hello and welcome back everyone, and Wolf here with even more Cyberpunk 2077. And where we last left off, we were doing a few more gigs here in the Watson District, and Regina has now offered us a new range of gigs that she thinks we are capable of performing. One of which is next to the Ho-Oh Club. Hmm, hello. Whoa! Hi! You know, I didn't actually realize there was an elevator here. Huh! You learn something new every day. What time do we have? Bloody hell. 1.30 a.m. Oh well, so be it. We do have a gig here at the port. That we might as well learn more about. Got a Soviet fixer in town. My client wants to show some hospitality. Get to know our unexpected guest. Go to the port. Kabuki. Pop a GPS on our comrade's ride. Car came with him all the way from the USSR. More info attached. Okay. So, an agent saboteur gig. To place a GPS tracker on Mikhail Akalov's car. At the Kabuki port. When a top Soviet fixer, Mikhail Akalov, landed in Night City, it generated a lot of buzz in the beers. So far, says he's just in town to cut a small time deal. The USSR's premier fixer in town to personally handle minor league gigs at any stakes. Yeah, can't say I'm convinced either. So what is his game? And why here in Night City? My client needs answers to these questions and more. They want to be able to follow his every step in Night City soil. And that's why we need to plant a GPS transmitter on our dear comrade's car. And try to keep it clean and quiet. All I'll say is this, with giving a fuck, you'll be alright. But what if something gets out? Whose fucking hands are gonna roll then? Not theirs. So you gotta make sure it don't get out. But we're talking ten whole fucking containers. Fake docks, all of them. And you know what was inside? Fucking corporal gear. Combat shit. It ain't. Take the ads and forget it. And start pretending you're dumber than you are. You even see where they sent it? I'm telling you. That shit's coming back to wipe us. Oh. I wonder if this is related to Mikhail Akalov then. Ten containers of combat rated equipment. Thankfully. We do have this security robot here. campaign but it's a pirate broadcast guy hacks us in cuts off the other programs oh yeah and how do you know it ain't all set up with the station owners I'm telling you Jim, just one of them stealth ads 
grab your attention first, then they spill all the lame details later. Can't believe everything you see on TV. We just uh, saw a brief ad referencing this Doctor Paradox while we were in the Ho O Bar as well. Doctor Paradox is kind of almost what I'd call like a counterculture person of interest who seemingly hacks the various stations of Night City to spread his message and he is against obviously a lot of the corporate greed of the world I'm fairly certain there is someone next to this surveillance camera. Very rare that I actually do this gig in the evening. Worker out of the way. Oh, for the help. Now there is an individual we have yet to see. There's our comrade's vehicle. him right there. This worker could also get us into trouble. Let's have a quick look at this worker once again. Is there any way I can just... Ah, that robot's going to be coming along this way very shortly. That worker could spot us. Need to deal with this guard right here and probably dispose of him in the dumpster.
this would have probably been the perfect opportunity. But we decided to uh, procrastinate a little bit. When this guard heads back towards Mikhail's vehicle, that's when we're going to end up trying to deal with a veteran guard here. Missing our opportunity. missed our opportunity there. is coming back along this way means our time is limited this sniper is n the next most dangerous individual could I lure Answers. Oh, yes. I wasn't sure how I'd be able to lure him. Okay, so this entire corner is now clear for the patrolling robot and, well, the other robot as well, of course, and the sniper. We should be able to deploy the GPS without too much trouble. for the robot to return to its uh, patrol route. the sniper
Okay. We could get up and do a little bit of running, but let's not ruin a good heist. Or a good gig, I should say. Oh, what the? Oh, okay. My camera just uh, screwed up there for a moment. Two seconds, there you go. Better. Snipers looking in this direction. And we are out. Perfect. Silent and effective, just like in the movies. Except we don't make that sort of scratch, but can't have everything, right? Gig closed. We did extremely well. No one knows we were there. And because we did such a good job, Regina has sent us a little extra as a token of her appreciation. to retrieve that token. Yeah, we're heading over to this service point. Ah, might as well sell everything we're not using at the moment. Mm, yep, nope, that looks good. And we did actually gain a level. We're getting really close to level 20, when our tier 3 equipment will start becoming available. Do we want intelligence to be up to 8? I'm very tempted for that extra 4 cyberware capacity. Yeah, we might get our intelligence to 9 and then leave it there for a little while. As for this perk, we're not really... I mean, we could grab bullet time. As once we get tier 3, we might be able to afford a decent Sandista van. Extra mitigation could be really good. Decisions. Increased vaulting and climbing speed could be useful. I'll take the mitigation chance while performing a dash. And now, map. There is a gig up next to the port once again. Similar to where we helped the monks earlier there is actually a vending like a marketplace there we are looking for cat food potentially there could be some cat food there well we could always check it out at the same time we could check into the local watson themed clothing store i have to admit 
Uh, from experience, I do like some of the clothing offered here. If you any Seems like a good idea. Hit the clothing store, maybe. And then from there, head over to where that gig is located. It's the middle of the night, Maelstrom may have blocked off a few of these roads. Have to keep our eyes open. Oh, so this is a good time for you then? Hola! Huh. With that look, I doubt you're from around Watson. I am now. Been thinking about a new jacket. What do you recommend? What's it matter? Just pick something. Ah! Someone really excited about their work. Right, uh, right. Let's see what jackets are available. Immediately, I see two that I quite like. Um, I oh, oh, three actually. I always like the theme of this uh, style of jacket. Sometimes they have uh, different prints on the back, of course, and this is not exactly the color we are looking for. This tends to be one of my favorite. Actually, this tends to be the jacket. This tends to be my go-to. I'll be perfectly open. What about the other one here? This one I don't see as often. Interesting. Wounded machine. Hmm. Not quite what I'd think about, but okay. Let's have a look at the other jackets that are available. Oh, it's got there. Some Wraith iconography on the back. Wraiths are a certain group of nomads they um they don't have a very positive reputation hmm, some combat trousers hmm, maybe 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 It's kind of something hard wearing that we don't mind getting dirty. I think we'll grab these two items. Do we want to add something a little with a little bit of color? Sometimes nothing wrong with a bit of color either. We could always check out the other clothing stores as well. Samurai Combat Turtleneck. The logo of every fossil's favorite band. I'll take both of these jackets. I, I like both of them. As for helmets, I don't think we'll wear a helmet at the moment. 
Thank you very much. Okay, yeah, that's totally fine. So switch out our our top here, our shirt. What would it look like with this uh this jacket on? Obviously we lose the sleeves, which is fine. We didn't really purchase any trousers. We did have, uh, have some trousers, of course. Yeah, why not? Change your appearance slightly. The bullet pendant still sits proud. Very well. the marketplace um the food stall is up here i believe are you a little young to run a business someone in the family's got to be the scoff winner i can count and i've got good hands all you need fair enough you cooking up anything good today I don't deal in anything less. Gotta respect yourself and your customers, too. Nice. Okay. And yes, they are selling cat food. Okay. Uh, we just need to purchase one of those. That'll do us nicely. Thank you very much. So we'll keep that for when we want to find my words again when we want to head back to our mega building we do want to give the ncpd a wide berth as they never like us getting too close to them when they're on patrol and we're heading down this street here Got a gig for you. One I'd rather not have. Bryce Stone, preacher on TV. His son was brutally murdered. Only way to catch this child killer is to get your hands on the original BD that recorded the whole thing. Yeah, you heard that right, unfortunately. More info attached. Okay, another thievery type gig. Get the raw brain dance of the murder of Bryce Stone's son. Located in the buildings of Shipyard Way. Regina's good and old friend, the televangelist Bryce Stone, needs our help. His son was kidnapped and brutally murdered a few days after the kidnapping. The NCPD dropped the case due to a lack of evidence, and Bryce has decided he wants to take matters into his own hands. He actually found an edited BD scroll of the murder. Due to the heavy editing, there's not a lot of clues to go on, but if we can get our hands on the raw, unfiltered cut, 
there's a chance we could find more clues and even identify the murderer. The virtue was put out by two XBD tuners known as Gottfried and Frederick in Northside. It is likely they still have the raw footage, the original somewhere. Of course, they are being well protected by Maelstrom as Gottfried and Frederick or the Virtue editors that Maelstrom have primarily hired for their brain dance business. And similar to Jotaro Shobo, they like to put out a lot of illicit and dark material. for our ram to recover once again. There is an entrance here that requires technical ability 8 if we want to come in from the port side access, of course. Now, we could bypass all of the Maelstromers if we wished. This gig can be completed extremely easily, if you know, of course. Okay, we don't have the body to force this door open. We do have a cyber deck, allowing us to electronically open the door. We have a nice specialized chest here. Ooh. A tier 3 cyber deck? It's not even my birthday. The Teletronic Rippler is pretty damn decent as well. Maybe not the one I would have preferred to use, but it gives us 7 RAM, 6 quick hack slots, and an extra buffer slot when we're breaching access points as well. Thank you very much. Now, if we wanted, the BD studio is just over there. But I'd rather do a little bit of looting. Now, there is one member of Maelstrom we have not tagged. They're in the building and there's no surveillance camera nearby. Daddy and his doll sitting in their high castle giving me some horrors like I'm some dog? Whoa, so this is the be on end all the nice city now? I don't like it, take it up with that. Why don't I just short surf myself while I'm at it? Ah, fuck that noise! Now, that patrolling Maelstromer with a sniper rifle could be a problem. Ok, 
Okay. Oh, well, we talked about Lenny Nero with Jotaro, didn't we? There's an archive conversation here. Where Lenny is threatening to quit to no longer peddle the XPDs that Gottfried and Frederick are editing. Something about what you're doing is insane and that you're dragging your son into it. And that it's only going to end badly. Yeah. We already have. We know of Gottfried. His son is Frederick, of course. Finding more items to loot very quickly. You see it? See what? One where she drowns? Nah, one where the bored out fuck gets freaky on a granny with a slice and dice. Still can't fathom why you watch that shit. Seeing those weak, flabby meat suits ugh, gets me harder than chrome. Is there any way I can deal with you? Possibly. We had it been faster, we could have probably followed that maelstrom and put him in that container. Investigate, take your time. Hey, hey, what the? A little awkward, not quite what I intended. Fuck that. One in the building who was looking right at us. Okay, so far we're clear. You're a camera that's active. Oh. 
Okay, it's in the... In the back of the building, right here. Okay, that's fine. I think that's everyone who can, well, apart from the sniper, that's everyone who could be a problem. Suppose I'm lucky that this guy didn't actually spot us. Um, could I? Can I catch him? Oh God! So this is another way into the studio. I think it's just down that way. We have an access point here that we can hack into. hunting skill experience. The other two I don't really care about. We can leave them well enough alone. Before he gets. What do you think? Else it'll feel like stabbing a pillow. Okay. Uh, pulling up by one frame. Augmenting pain feedback and ferrous aftertaste. Freddy boy, you're a natural. Uh, cutting that sweat stench. No, no, leave it. Some go for that extra kick. Put out two cuts. Sweat in, sweat out. <laughs> hey, good thinking, Papa. <clears throat> wakey, wakey, gentlemen. W w what's happening? Security! Too far away to hear us. Well, let's not do anything rash here. We just tune and sell. We don't scroll. Honest to God. W we can figure this out. Uh, just tell us what you want, and we'll make it happen. Got a little family affair going here, huh? People want to buy, so we sell. Business is business. Looking for something in particular? You know, if, if it wasn't us, there'd be someone else. You, you, you want to see something really hard for? Freddy! We just supply what Night City demands. That's all. XPD of a preacher's little boy. Murdered. Ring any bells? Uh, which preacher? I just got a fresh batch with boys. 
and no clue who their daddies are. They're gonna need more. Bryce Stone, circuit rider on News 54. Son was Bobby Stone, 12 years old when he died. Are we talking black, white, Chicano? Any identifying marks? Style of execution? Papa? I think I know the one he wants. BD-9430. Preacher's boy, who murdered him? Who gave you the XBD? Nobody gives us anything. They, they leave dead drops. We just go pick them up. Keeps things secure for everyone involved. XBD was raw when you got it. Must have noticed something in the background, some kind of clue. Reflection in the mirror, tattoo, anything. Our, our, our only concern is with imperfections, N not who makes them. Kindly hand it the fuck over. Now. All right, please, just relax. Just take it. Freddy! Sir, it's just behind us on the shelf. BD-9430. That's it. That's the one. Just, just take it. Papa! Why? Why did you have to kill him? I'll do anything. Please, just let me live. You know, kid, do something better with your life. I'm doing you a favor. But we will take your access token. We have a Max Peltier asking about some new gear. What would Gottfried recommend for a new studio? If Maelstrom keep you editing BDs, I will be back. Ooh. A baseball bat. Some new brain dance releases. Okay, not the... Not the entirely questionable ones. Okay. And our job here is done. We have the raw footage. Let's go drop that off for Regina. He can let another brain dance editor go over it, I suppose. So we're heading over to a service point just at the port here. Here we are. Great work, V. Let's hope it helps trace the motherfucker who scrolled the thing. Gig's closed. Not a problem. And we've earned 20 street cred. We didn't earn a level, but we're relatively close. And more eddies to our name. Tell you what, what we'll do is get ourselves back over to our mega building. What I think we'll do... I'm trying to decide if we should continue the main storyline before or after we start getting tier 3 equipment. It might be worth doing it afterwards. No, it would be nice to have T3 
tier 3 equipment ready for the main storyline. Means we would have to do two, maybe three more gigs. Or look into a few other jobs. Actually, there's one more, one other thing we can do. Um, yes, this one here. And next to, I believe this is next to the Ripper Doc Ca uh, Cassius Rider, yes. We actually heard about this uh, development with the NCPD that there were some scavs um, led by a Yelena Sidorova. And it's actually really close by to the Ripper Dock. It may not get us our level, but it's one more thing we can certainly do uh, with this part of the series while we contemplate if we're going to be doing a few more gigs. But I do... We'll deal with the scavs led by Yelena. And then we will... head back to our mega building with the cat food we have in our possession. Now there are three ways into the location where the scabs are holed up. It's worth doing some of these NCPD dispatches because it is where you may potentially find some of the rare iconic crafting specifications. Do we go see Cassius and grab our new cyber deck? It might be worth our while. Uh, what time is it? 6 a.m.? Yeah, why not? We'll go see Cassius first. Yeah, we have this new cyber deck. We might as well take it. I mean, extra weapon damage against enemies affected by non-combat quick hacks. I mean, we it says weapon damage, which includes shotguns and, of course, blades. That could be useful. But plus 40% damage with combat quick hacks, when immediately followed by a non-combat quick hack in the queue. That's never going to um, actually be useful, because we're not going to be unlocking the quick hack you function but it's worth grabbing it's cost us very little oh we actually had i forgot dab it we had um a tier 2 or tier 2 plus version of subdermal armor as well oh well no matter so We can force this door open. I don't know if there's someone right there. This is a rather... I, I'm, I'm going to keep saying this. Um, but there's probably other rather interesting situations we'll find ourselves in in and around Night City as we explore. But why the scavs are here in particular is rather interesting. So... Yeah. We have the scavs here who are just shooting a bunch of civilians outside of this, I suppose, old, like, parking garage, which is now being used as a slum for the homeless. Oh, 
Unfortunately, this is just a group of homeless people who were trying to escape when the scabs came and occupied. Oh, we have no quick hacks installed. Oh, Christ. Let's um, organize that quickly. Oh, we can actually grab some of the TF3 quick hacks we have as well. We'll grab ping, short circuit, contagion, memory wipe. Oh, we actually have a tier 3 short circuit. Yunk. Weapon glitch. And yeah, reboot optics. Okay, not bad. Really just wanted it for pinging our opponent. They've already killed some people. There's a robot over there. Should we give our black unicorn a go? Bullet deflect we have. Let's just make sure we know what the hell we're doing with our reflexes. We can dash towards our enemies. We can leap towards them. Yeah, okay. Yeah, why not? Let's try to go pure melee. Sure, we're not walking. Yeah, good. When you slice, step up. First time going down. Yeah, okay. That was very greedy. Unfortunately, we got surrounded. <laughs> we shouldn't have been as greedy there. Oh. Oh, I forgot. We need to autosave a bit more often. But, yeah. In fact, actually. If we're going to do it this way. God damn it. Okay. That's the sniper dealt with. Mine. Yes, I think your kid is too. <laughs> There's the 
In solar quick hacks. Whoops. Right again. Okay, that went a lot better this time. And yeah, we got this iconic crafting specification to craft the buzzsaw. We'll uh, grab this body of Yelena, because this is Yelena. We'll look at that uh, archive conversation shortly. Well, uh, loot the rest of the bodies first. Oh. Where did her body go? Ah, oh, Christ. <laughs> no, serious question. Where did her body go? Kind of important that we didn't lose it. <laughs> ah, okay, it's there. Good. Your okay, health item is upgraded. Another archived conversation. There is a personal laptop here. really of relevance on it of course oh we could have man uh, note to self there was explosives right here we could have uh, ended up playing with oh well yeah so there were a fair few you can imagine a lot of the homeless or quite a few homeless did live here I'll make this place their home. And then the scavs came and decided to uh, perform a series of executions upon them. This wasn't just for the sheer fun of it, of course. And you remember that we were hired by the NCPD to clear this place out. But we have an archive conversation where Yelena seems to be getting hired by a Jerry Falter. Jerry Falter being the NCPD police commissioner. Of course, he's contacting her in regards to a private matter yeah do you know about the bombs that are living in a lot in the NID which was recently purchased by a property developer unfortunately for him to do anything 
the homeless have to disappear. It can't go through official channels. This would be a personal favor. It's funny that the police commissioner may have hired L Yelena and the Scavs to clear out the bums so that he could get his friend, a property developer, to start further developing this, this building, this site, and raise the property prices, of course. And then we were contracted, or there was a contract available by the NCPD to deal with the Scavs removing any evidence of the commissioner's involvement. We have a message, of course, by Vladimir here to Yelena, warning Yelena that the commissioner could not be trusted. And it's highly likely that, yeah, the commissioner may have been involved in, well, definitely... getting rid of the bombs by hiring Yelena, but then also involved in getting us to tidy up the evidence. Ah, uh, we did actually level up there, of course. So we'll get our intelligence to nine. And we have a spare perk. I suppose we'll grab Glutton for war at the moment. We gain extra recharge on our health items and our grenades upon neutralizing an enemy. And we can get even more recharge speed going into health freak. Might want to grab first aid and transfusion as well. Faster recharge speed and extra health on our final health item. Well, what we'll do is get ourselves back to our mega building. And we'll take a break from there. the Night City Medical Center here in Watson.
Welcome to N54. It's time for your local news. Violence continues to plague the Badlands. Shootings have been reported along the 1, 166, and 101. Eyewitness accounts point to inter-clan disputes. Attacks on unaffiliated persons has not exceeded the average. However, in an abundance of caution, the NCPD has raised the threat level to two, advising travelers to avoid side roads. We'll continue to keep you informed as the situation develops. Very well. So, let's uh, head around the corner here. And we'll pour this cat food into the bowl. And check back a bit later. Okay, cat food is deposited. And back to our apartment. Okay. So, what we'll do is take a break here. We did have <laughs> an unfortunate death dealing with the scabs and Yelena. But we'll try and avoid that in the future. But yeah, when we come back, we may indeed just try and do a few other gigs or maybe look into an, a few other side jobs to see if we can earn ourselves another level so that we can go see Vic and spend some of our hard-earned Euro dollars on upgrading our cyberware and seeing what else is available to us from level 20 onwards. As I say, new weapons should also be available. And depending on how many item components we have, we might be able to actually craft or upgrade some of the weapons we have already on our person. We should probably look into upgrading the Black Unicorn, which is um, currently what is what we're using, and this is quite handy. So, there is a katana, there's a couple of katanas in the near future, that will probably end up replacing the Black Unicorn in the near future. Either way though, thank you all for joining me. As always, feel free to leave a comment if you so wish. And hopefully I'll see you for even more next time. Until then, though, I hope you all take care. Bye-bye now.